Now, we have heard a lot about Greece and its economic problems over the last few days, weeks, in fact. But what impact is it having on companies here in Britain? Steph has details. Morning again. Morning to you. Yes, uh, so I talked about this yesterday, about the importance on uh, financial markets and also currencies, and that's what we're going to talk about this morning. Yeah, morning, everyone. One of the main impacts for British business so far is the strength of the pound against the euro. It's been going up because of all the uncertainty with Greece and what it might mean for the rest of the euro. Now, this is good news for businesses buying things in Europe because it means they're cheaper, but not so great for the exporters, so people selling things to Europe. It means they're more expensive, so it's harder for UK businesses to compete. Well, with me now is Hamid Ahuja, who's a director for Sunmark. They sell British food and drink in more than 100 countries, including Greece. Good morning to you, Hamid. Good morning. So just explain to me a bit about what your business is and why the currencies matter so much to you. Uh, we are a specialist export company. We sell British food and drink, as you mentioned, and toiletries into over 100 countries. And it's something that we've specialised in. Our main activity is exports. So Anything that happens in the currency markets is a direct knock-on effect on how we sell and at what price we sell. So a significant shift and significant volatility is always bad for us. So what's it been like over the last few months while we've seen all this turmoil with Greece and the, and, and the currency changing? Yeah, it's not been great. Um, it's, it's not been great in terms of that people hesitate to buy. They're not sure whether their margin is going to be wiped out by um, a serious movement in, in currency. And we've seen those movements. So it can happen. It has happened to people already. And... Is it something you're looking at on a daily basis or you, you know, are you monitoring it thinking, oh, it doesn't look so great today, I hope this get, they get this deal sorted? How are yeah. you looking at it? it? It's something that keeps you on edge rather than something you need to monitor from minute to minute. We're not traders in foreign exchange. We are, you know, we're in the food business. But you need to be mindful of anything that might happen. Like if, if Greece were to exit the euro, for instance, that could have a serious effect. But um, we saw a lot of, lot of talk, a lot of fear in the previous five or six months which seems to have calmed down, but nonetheless, it was frightening at that time for a lot of companies in this business. And, and just give us an idea of, if it changes by, a, you know, if it's one day it's 1.4 euros to the pound, and then the next day it goes down a couple to like 1.38 or something, yeah. or goes up one, to 1.42, does that make a massive difference, or does it have to be bigger changes than that? No, it can, because there are some items, some products that you sell which have very, very low margins, and then you have no choice. I mean, the food industry, unless you're a manufacturer, is a low-margin business, and it's a consumable, it's, it's a repeat business, and you make money on that. But uh, a small difference can have an effect, but it is very much horses for courses, it really affects some people, but less so to others. So you mentioned about prices. Do you have to change your prices quite frequently then to reflect this? You have to keep an eye on it. You probably, if you were buying in euros, you'd want to sell in euros to try to try to avoid any exposure to the currency, more so now than in previous years because of the volatility. Um, you, you want, that's, that's the ideal hedge for you. That's the ideal way to avoid any foreign exchange losses. But your buyer may not be happy with that. They may not want to buy in anything other than pounds or, or, uh, or dollars, depending on what their view is on, on, uh, on the euro. So how are you feeling now about everything? Are you kind of optimistic they're going you're, to sort this out? Or is it, all, or is it all guesswork, do you think? It's all guesswork for us still at, at the moment. We, we, we think it's very regrettable that Greece is where it is. People are suffering at the end of the day. But um, there is a basic fundamental... Uh, problem that they have, that they spend more money than they make, and until they actually fix that problem, it's not going to go away whether they're in the euro or outside of the euro. And, and in terms of business for you at the moment, how is it? Is it, is it doing all right? Because we keep hearing, don't we, the Chancellor saying, we need to export more, we need to grow that. What, what's it been like for you? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're doing what the Chancellor wants us to do almost <laughs> in that yeah. respect. Uh, we are exporting uh, aggressively, as we've always done. The eurozone has had to become less important for us, so we've had to look to other markets. Now, we are lucky that we do a lot of non-European countries into Africa, into the Middle East, but we've all had to look sort of even further out to countries like Malaysia and Brazil to, to make up for whatever we're not doing in Europe now. Yeah, Harmi, thank you very much for your Fantastic. time this morning. Thank it's you. really interesting to hear all that. Uh, that's it for me for now. I'm going to have some news about uh, the energy markets. There's a report coming out at 7. I talked a bit about it earlier, didn't I? But yes. I'll have more on that uh, just after 7. We'll all be very interested in that, Steph. Uh, thank you.